before our main feature. Please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified. Thank you. And now for our featured presentation. Hi everyone, this is John the Blindcastle. Welcome once again to our YouTube channel, The Exciting Vlog Pod. And today is our fourth episode about Audacity, the free software for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And we are using Audacity 3.2.1, now available for download at audacityteam.org. Okay, for today's episode, we will be adding some special tones. Alright, I'm using the term special tones because in Audacity, they have this, uh, it has this um, generate effect, okay, which they categorize as, you know, special or uh, sound effects, uh, different tones, okay, so it's the default. Uh, special tones of audacity and the effects tab of audacity pertains to you know uh, adding fade in fade out loudness amplify things like that so to distinguish special tones with the generate effect and the the sound effect in audacity uh, let's use uh, special tones the term special tones so that uh, you know we could differentiate okay so what I mean about special tones or special audio effects that we could download from audio effects websites and uh, we could also download from YouTube uh, these are the effects like applause kids cheering laughing uh, what else bell bell tanks you know bell sounds things like that or right. uh, so let's start now we have here on our screen by the way for those uh, low vision what you're looking at now is my screen recorder and uh, my audacity program now open and uh, I have already a sample audio track here so I'll let you listen I'm playing it now. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. I'm only out to find the better part of me. Alright, so that's our sample audio. So most of you will be familiar with that. Those are lyrics from the song Superman by Five for Fighting. Okay, now uh, let's add the generate effects or the default tones of audacity now let's select uh, a portion uh, a part of the track where we could insert or add that uh, generate effect so let's play it one more time and then I'll press the left bracket to mark that spot I can't stand to fly I'm not that nice. Okay, so I place my marker, the left bracket, on uh, the part after I said fly. Okay, and now I'm pressing Alt plus G as in GOAT. Plugin Manager P1 of 11. And then we have here the list of the default tones of uh, Audacity. Chirp. You got chirps. DTMF tones. DTMF tones. Noise. Noise. Silence. Uh, S6 of 11. So this is the silence. We're going to use this much later on when we add our special tones. Tone. tone. Pluck. And the pluck. P9 of 11. Tone. Sock noise. DTM. Chirp. Uh, C3 of 11. There are also, so there are also some uh, presets here down below like rhythms and receipt drums. So D chirp. Let's use chirps first. Let's uh, press on enter. Chirp dialog start and frequency, hertz amplitude, okay, zero so one duration. There are also a lot of presets here. Frequency hertz start edit all plus F selected 440. Okay, let's just uh, leave it that. Frequency hertz end edit selected 1312. Amplitude start edit all plus a selected 0 0.5. So I'm just tabbing down. 
to let you hear those presets. Amplitude end edit selected 0.1. Interpolation. Combo box linear collapsed all plot. Duration 0 hours 0 minutes 0, 0 0.500 S. Okay, so that's uh, 0 0.5 seconds. 500 millis 0, 00 H. 0, 01 of 9. 0, 02 of 9. 0, 00 0, 04 of 9. 0, 00 S. 0, 05 of 0, 06 of 9. 500 milliseconds. 57 of 9. Okay, so that's uh, that's we want. That is the duration that we want. So let's keep it that way. 0.5 seconds. That'll be enough. So let's uh, tab until we hear generate. Panel. Presets. Preview button. Generate button. Alt plus G. Okay. Audacity. Audacity. Now let's press letter J and uh, hit the space bar to play and uh, we'll uh, listen to the effect, the generated effect. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. I'm only out to find the better part of me. Alright, so that's the generate effect. That's a default tone of uh, what's in Audacity. So that's how you place it. Now what if we want other effects outside the Audacity defaults? So like I said, the uh, like the applause, cheering, bell clink, things like that. So first we need to import those files. Okay, so let's press Control Shift plus I. Select one or more files dial. Okay, then from here let's uh, tab or press shift tab twice folder view one click not selected okay so now we are here on the file folder list and I'm just going to select the sound bites or sound effects that are the special effects whatever you want to call it special tones special audio effects uh, just to differ to make it different with the what what's with the audacity program okay so let's uh, one click one of 39 bell clink two of 39 let's use this bell clink and we are going to use three for this uh, episode we're just going to use three uh, special audio effects that we ha I have here on my file so to s to choose or to select multiple audios from your file now that your cursor is it's it's on the uh, my cursor here it's on the bell clink I'm just going to press control and then I'm going to scroll down to select others big Ben knots boom not buzzer claps correct not claps okay. not selected six of 39 Let's use this uh, special tone claps I'm just going to press space bar to select it space selected and then let's choose another one let's scroll down correct cricket crowd drum beat drum roll few moments fireworks not force be with you no, heartbeat not so hey mad not keyboard not kids cheer not selected 18 okay, of 39 this uh, kids cheer okay let me press space bar to select space it. selected now I'm going to release the control button on my keyboard and then I'll press enter audacity splitter main panel Track view. Four kids cheer selected four of four. Okay, now on our workspace, on our main panel, we got four audio tracks. Now to uh, go from one track to another, just uh, move it, uh, move your cursor using the up and down arrows. Okay, so let's uh, deselect this uh, track first. The uh, kids cheer. Four kids cheer four of four. There. Now if we're going to hit space bar everything all of these uh, tracks will play at once I can't stand to fly okay so we don't want that okay now let's uh, three claps two bell one audio one selected one of four okay you may notice that in the start of the video when you first heard the sample audio I have this space at the beginning of the uh, the sample audio, uh, we need that sp uh, specific space so that uh, the the special tone that we are going to add on the start of the the audio track, <coughs> excuse me, 
start of the audio track we'll have enough uh, time before the actual audio okay so let's now use kids two bell first. three clap four kids cheer selected four of four okay, so let's mute the claps three claps selected three of four by pressing shift plus u three claps muted selected three of four okay let's deselect as well three claps muted three of four it is it is important to deselect first every uh, all any track that you don't need to you know do some editing because if you forgot to uh, or forget to uh, deselect the track once you edit uh, the one that you want to edit uh, it will also be included okay two bell clink selected two of four so let's uh, this bell clink let's sh let's uh, mute this two bell clink muted selected two of four shift plus u then uh, press enter to two bell clink muted one audio one selected one of four okay so let's keep at that selected two bell clink mute three claps muted three four kids cheer selected four of four okay, so we only have two tracks selected the kids cheer and the sample audio now if we play three, this two, one audio one selected one of four okay let's put our playhead on the first or the, the starting point by pressing J so automatically the kids cheer will play in the beginning of the, our sample audio okay so what you're going to hear now is the kids cheer uh, then the start of the sample audio then the generated effect the default effect that we have added earlier so let's play I can't stand to fly I'm not that naive I'm only out to find the better part of me alright so now so that's uh, um, that part the kids cheer that we placed on the on the starting point that's that's what uh, we want okay now we will use the other special tone here two bell clink muted two of four okay, let's use the bell clink but first you have to mute the kids three cheer. four kids cheer selected four of four okay, deselect this one four kids cheer four of four pressing enter then shift plus u four mute. kids cheer muted four of four now three let's, two bell clink muted two of four let's unmute this one by pressing shift plus u two bell clink two of four and then let's go to we'll not we're not going to select this one yet because we have to do something first here on the, our sample audio one audio one selected one of four okay so our play it is at the, the starting point now what we want to do is to place a marker where we want the bell clink to uh, to sound off uh, once we've uh, finalized our audio our, our audio editing okay so now let's play it up until okay let's mute this first two bell clink two of four so that we will not be confused all right two bell clink muted two of four okay, so one audio one selected one of four we're going to hear only the generated effect that we have done earlier so because we are like, like I said I'm going to play some marker okay so let's play it now I can't stand to fly I'm not that naive I'm only out to find the best okay so I place the left bracket after I uh, after the word I'm not that naive okay after the word naive okay so the marker the the intention for that marker is that we need to know the duration from the starting point up to that point because we will going to insert a silence on the uh, on the bell clink track okay so to get the duration let's press the left bracket one more time set left selection boundary dialog zero out okay so just uh, pause our our uh, screen reader then just press tab okay then button shift position tab. grouping seven seconds 450 okay it says seven seconds okay so uh, you need not round it off but you just uh, use the the 
the whole number, the seven seconds. So let's press escape. Audacity. And Splitter. then place our playhead on the starting point. And then let's uh, deselect this one. One audio, one, one of four. Then we go to our bell clink. Two bell clink muted, two of four. So it's muted. But let's uh, unmute it now. Shift plus U. Two bell clink, two of four. Now let's uh, select it. Press enter. Two bell clink selected, two of four. Let's uh, play it. Just a short, uh, just to play at the short uh, period. There we go. And place the place the playhead at the start, pressing J. And now we will insert here our silence. Okay. So let's press Alt plus G as in goat. Plugin Manager P one of eleven. Then S. Silence dialog duration. Duration zero hours zero. Okay, so the, we are on the duration field. We'll just uh, press end button. Zero 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 milliseconds. Zero nine of nine. That's uh. Zero eight of nine. Zero seven of nine. I'm pressing left arrow to go to the whole number. Zero eight S. Okay. Eight six of nine. It says eight seconds. Let's change it to seven seconds. Seven. Zero 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 milliseconds. Okay, zero so seven of nine. The silence will be seven seconds uh, that we are going to place on the bell clink. Now let's uh, apply it or generate it. Panel preview button. Generate button. Alt plus G. Okay, so let's and pre press enter. Audacity, audacity, splitter, main panel, track view. Okay, so now we will going to play the bell clink. Uh, the sample audio and the generated effect earlier, the default tone, and let's include the kids cheer. Three claps, mu four kids cheer, muted okay, four of four. So let's unmute this, shift plus U. Four kids cheer, four of four. I need not select that, all, um, we no longer need to select it. Three claps, mu two bell clink selected, two of four. Okay, so let's deselect this one. Two bell click, one audio, one, one of four. Just, and uh, let's select this one. One audio, one select. Press J. Now let's play. So we are going to expect that uh, the kids here will play first and then enter the sample audio, then the default tone of the audacity, and then after naive, we will hear the bell clink. All right, let's play it. I can't stand to fly. 8.30 a.m. I'm not that naive. I'm only out to find right. the better part of me. Okay, so, uh, you've noticed there's a little bit, uh, uh, the, the bell clink was on the, uh, I'm only out on the part where I said, the, the track says, I'm only out, okay? I'm only out to find on that part. So, what we can do is to, let's deselect this first. One audio, one, one of four. Okay, and then... Two bell clink selected, two of four. So the bell clink is selected. Three clap, four kids cheer selected, four of four. Let's deselect this kids cheer. Four kids cheer, four of four. Three claps muted selected, three of four. Deselect this also. Three claps, four kids cheer, four of four. Okay, uh, you might wonder why everything was selected. Uh, well, Audacity kind of works that way it automatically selects when uh, the sample or the the you know the main track is being selected and played so let's mute this one shift plus you four kids cheer muted four of four three claps muted three of two bell clink select one audio one selected one of four and deselect this one audio one one of four okay so two bell clink selected two of four making sure just making sure that only the bell clink is selected three claps muted three of four four kids cheer muted f three cl two bell clink selected two of four okay now on the bell clink we just need to put our playhead first on the starting point and then we're going to delete some parts of the silence okay so uh, let's play this Okay, up too much. Let's uh, do that one more time. Okay, so uh, let's play it one more time. Okay, so I'll place a X there. Oh, you won't hear anything because there's the silence on the bell clink track, remember? 
so now we're just going to press shift plus J alright so that from the marker that we place on that silence uh, and to from that mark to the starting point you're going to select that and then delete it two bell clink selected two of four okay so uh, nothing is uh, edited on the other tracks because we only selected the bell clink so uh, you must take note of that one audio one one of four four kids one audio two bell clink selected two of four three yeah. claps muted three of four kids cheer muted four of four so let's unmute the kids cheer four kids cheer four of four you, then, uh, three two bell one audio one one of four select our audio track sample one audio one selected one of four now let's play it one more time again you will hear the kids cheer then enter the sample audio then the generate effect or the default tone of audacity and then the bell clink okay I can't stand to fly I'm not that naive I'm only out to find the better part of me all right so that sounds uh, okay we, we may we have uh, I might have uh, edited longer uh, silence there but uh, seems fine because uh, it still followed the generated or the default tone it uh, it did not over uh, overwrite anything on uh, any part of the sample audio okay now for the final special tone that we're going to add uh, we're going to use the clap the clappings okay two bell one audio one selected so one of four select this one audio two bell clink selected two select bell clink this. two of four then let's put this bell clink on mute two Plus bell clink you. muted two of four. three claps muted three of four let's uh select this one three claps muted selected three of four and uh unmuted three claps selected three of four kids cheer four of four and let's mute this kids cheer four kids cheer muted four of four Three claps selected three of four. Let's uh, play this clapping sound first. Okay, so that will be good. Then let's go back first to the sample. Two audio. bell, one audio, one, one of four. Okay, here, let's select this. One audio, one selected, one of four. Now uh, we're going to press letter K so that our play head will be at the end point. And then we'll just press the right bracket or the close brace okay so uh, I, uh, first I've muted let's mute the Two, three claps muted three of four okay so let's uh, keep this on mute and deselect it four three claps muted three of four okay so it's still unselected two bell clink muted two of four okay everything three, is four muted. kids cheer muted four of four three, right. two, one audio one selected one of four okay so our uh, sample audio is uh, selected and uh, unmuted now we're going to press letter k to place our playhead at the end point and then uh, right bracket set right selection boundary dialog okay screen reader is talking too much <laughs> so I um, press tab ok button shift tab position grouping 11 seconds 125 ok so the duration or at the end point that's where, going, that's where we are going to place our applause or clapping sound uh, it says 11 seconds so let's press escape audacity now Split. let's deselect Let's deselect the sample audio. One audio, one, one of four. Then, then let's go to our claps. Two clapping. bell clink, three claps muted, three of four. Okay, it's, uh, let's unmute it. Shift plus U. Three claps, three of four. And shift. Three claps selected, three of four. And let's play it just a few seconds. Okay, there we go. Place our playhead at the starting point, pressing J. Now we press. Alt plus G, sin goat. Plugin manager P one of eleven. Now on let's press S for silence. Silence dialog duration duration yeah, zero out zero zero there. zero milliseconds zero 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 seven of nine zero seven S 
seven zero five of nine. So now you're going to place eleven seconds. So that's one, one. then another S one. one. Zero 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 milliseconds. Okay. Zero seven of nine. Eleven s one six of nine. Go. Now we got it. Uh, we got our duration here. Eleven seconds. Let's generate. Panel. Pre preview button. Generate button. Alt plus G. And press enter. Audacity. Audacity. Splitter. Main panel. Track. Okay. Let's unmute everything by pressing Control Shift plus U and select all by pressing control plus a and let's check if everything's already selected two bell unmuted. clink selected two one audio one selected one of four two go. bell clink selected two three claps selected three of four kids cheer selected four of four three right. two bell one audio one selected one of four so everything selected and every every track is unmuted now let's place our playhead on the first or the starting point and now we are going to hear kids cheer first then enter the sample audio then the uh, default tone of audacity then the bell clink uh, just above uh, the words I'm not that naive and then at the end point we're going to hear the clapping tone Okay, let's play it. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. I'm only out to find the better part of me. So, now if you want to, let's adjust the clapping part one more time. So let's deselect the this audio one audio one two bell clink select two bell, bell clink three cl four kids cheer and four kids, kids cheer, cheer four of three claps selected three of four okay on the clapping part we're just going to do the what we did uh, with the bell clink so we're just going to play it short we're not going to hear anything so I, I did not mute all the other special tones because this is the uh, the end part so let's uh, play it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Press J, then play it one more time. There. And then uh, I press letter X there. That point. So nothing's going to be edited, only the clapping sound. Okay. Now press, I'm pressing Shift plus J. And I'm going to press delete to three claps selected three of four. Delete some of those parts of the silence that we have placed on the clapping sound. Now let's select everything one more time. Two bell clink selected two one audio one selected one of four. Okay, let's put the playhead at the starting point and let's play it. I can't stand to fly. That's a default tone. I'm not that naive, and that's I'm only out thing. to find the better part of me. Yeah. See? Uh, the track just, uh, just played uh, on the exact part that we want, just before the ending of the sample audio uh, played. Okay, now we just need to generate this, or we need to export and save it on our file folder. By doing this, uh, we need to press Control Shift plus letter E, as in uh, elephant. Port audio dialog file name, okay. bitrate mode, name. blank, S selection removed. Uh, um, type test. T, -E T. Then tab for the format. Save as type, combo box MP3 files. Okay, so let's uh, put it the MP3 format and then let's uh, tab until we hear save in save but cancel prop quality panel force e help but save in combo box music collapsed okay, all plus so i this is the folder that i'm going to save this file for this tutorial but you could always uh, change this by going to the file folder or the folder view list by tabbing about three times. One, tool, two, tool, three. folder view list. Video projects not selected okay. one of one. So let's say you got 
selected other files here or other other folders you just press backspace folder view list documents and date you modified you press 10 slash down. music d pictures videos okay. date modified so pictures date modified also press backspace one more time folder view list if you want to go to your main file folder one tv two move three to four five six seven eight block deliver john philip uh, date modified oh, let's uh, stick with what i ha want okay okay so let me enter here folder view doc and music date modified music, folder view and now i'm uh, pressing i'm going to press shift tab until i hear save tool tool save property panel panel quality panel cancel save button all plus s all right so let me enter here button audacity audacity so our files have been exported now we just need to close this program and again audacity will prompt you if you want to save it on the audacity default folder all right so if you don't want that just tab until you hear no save changes to less untitled no button all okay. plus in and let's go to our uh, obs 28.0 point okay so let's go to our main folder desktop and we're going to play j that. j jpa okay. j john items view list m music music okay. Folder. Test two of two. There you go. That's our uh, sample. Now I'm going to play it using my Windows Media Player. I'm, pl I'm pressing my Control button or my Open Context Menu button. Context Open. Add to Windows. Play with Windows Media Player P3 okay. of 25. Let's play here. Music. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. I'm only out to find the better part of me. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it for this episode. So that's how we, uh, we use or we add special effects or special audio tones, uh, special sound effects, whatever term you want to use. Uh, just to differentiate with the default tones uh, available in Audacity already upon your installation. By the way, just uh, before I forget, just a quick tip: if uh, you if you're going to use noise reduction and loudness normalizer uh, with the Audacity effect, uh, it will be best if you do the loudness effect first you apply the loudness uh, effect first and then you do the noise reduction okay because if you do the noise reduction first when you get the profile because that's a step first step right getting the profile the noise part and then the, uh, the second step will be to enter so that the entire rec the entire audio track will be rid of all the unnecessary noises and then if you uh, use the loudness effect the residual noises uh, in that uh, audio track you have will be amplified so the noise reduction will be useless so uh, it is best to uh, place the loudness effect first and then do the noise reduction steps alright so uh, again for for us visually impaired this is the way that I have discovered using audacity to to uh, insert or to place special tones all right because I've, I've been trying to uh, search in YouTube some uh, tutorials about adding special tones aside from the default tones in audacity unfortunately i found nothing okay most of uh the available tutorials uh in youtube are done by the sighted persons and of course with sighted persons they're just using 
their mouse to insert and then split then uh, merge those files until they have those special tones uh, within the parts of their sound file or their audio track okay but for us screen reader users we highly uh, depend on our keyboard and this is the way for 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 us for us visually impaired to you know add these uh, special tones on our audio track all right so it's uh, a lot of work but uh, the thing is the possibility is here we could do that and uh, we don't need other uh, other audio editors um, those uh, very expensive audio editors uh, to place our special tones um, in our in our audios in our audio tracks okay so the possibility is here so but if you have other means or other ways please do share uh, to all of us to every uh, visually impaired especially those beginners with uh, audio editing okay so please do share that and uh, it will help our visually impaired community okay so uh, please do support our channel the exciting vlog pod please subscribe like and share subscribe like and share subscribe like and share to the exciting vlog pod and if you have any comments or suggestion please uh, go to our comment box here on our YouTube channel and just uh, say what you have you need to say and you could also uh, give me a private message over my messenger account John the Blindcaster the Blindcaster is spelled one word T H E B L I N D C A S T R okay see you on the next episodes and uh, yep till next time bye bye god bless everyone thank you thank you for watching and listening to our featured presentation hope you find it informative and exciting oh yes please don't forget to subscribe like and share subscribe like and share subscribe like and share to our youtube channel the exciting vlog pod god bless everyone be safe, be healthy, be wise. Bye. Remember, the Force will be with you always.